Welcome to this RV Industry Association Standards Training video. I'm Kyle Van Tassel, a Standards Inspector for the Association. This video will explain the proper installation of crossover connectors for 120 volts. The Molex and TII brand connectors are very similar, but not the same. The TII connector can be seen on the left, connected to a Molex brand connector on the right. The different brand connectors do not lock together correctly, so this is not recommended. Both connectors require the wire to be prepped into a fork shape before assembly. Once the fork is formed, then it is to be inserted into the clear cap of the connector, ensuring that you have a quarter inch of sheathing inside the connector. After the wire is inserted, the two halves of the connector can then be pressed together with either a pair of channel lock pliers or the dedicated tool. If the install is done correctly, then there should be no bow in either half. The picture on the left shows proper wire routing within the connector with ample sheathing inside. The picture on the right shows incorrect routing of the wire. They fail to create the fork shape with the wires and this smashes the outside wires, causing damage and making the connector halves bow out. The install for stranded wire is much the same as solid with less emphasis on the routing inside the connector. The picture on the left shows the proper install with the sheathing inside the proper connector with the proper securement. The picture on the right shows stranded SJ cable inside a connector meant for solid wire, so it is incorrect. The color of the top half dictates the intended purpose of the connector, with clear being for solid and the blue-green tint being for stranded. These connectors can be used in multiple scenarios. When these connectors are used in a wet location, then the protective rubber boots pictured on the left must be installed. There is also a version of these connectors designed to connect more than two wires. This is shown on the right. These connectors must be secured through the holes in the connector. The wire should also be secured within eight inches of the connector on each side. The picture on the right shows failure to do both. These are not required to be installed in a junction box, but just like any other wiring junction, these cannot be concealed within walls or other construction spaces. Thanks for watching this standards training video on crossover connectors. Please feel free to watch all of our other training videos on the RVIA Communications YouTube channel.